viewers, today's video is about the MG4 and particularly about how you can power some of your household appliances on it. What we have here is a V2L cable, which has been known to be my MG Australia, thank you very much. And pretty simple little device here. We've got one end that plugs into your car, as per usual, and the other end plugs into all your little devices here. I think this would be really useful in a number of situations, which we'll talk about later on. How does it work? Well, pretty much like how I described, the instructions that come with it say it's for an MGZS EV, but I don't believe it'll be any different here. What we do is we plug that into the car. Once we've done that, we go inside the car and on the touch screen, you push the button that says, uh, where is it? Start discharging. And then once the red light comes on and you've uh, prepared everything, you should be able to use your appliances here. I'm looking forward to a cup of coffee. So let's get into it. Unlock your car, pop open the charge port, got our cable ready, let's put that in as usual. And at the moment nothing's happening. Let's go inside the car because we're probably going to have to push a button or something for that to work. Uh, what do we say here? Charging, discharging. Discharge connector connected. Well, clearly we have. We're going to push the start button there. I heard a little click at the back, I think. So let's go outside again and see if we can get a cup of coffee made from the MG4. So blue on the connector. Plug our coffee machine in. And yeah, there we go. So I don't know if you can see that from where you are. But coffee machine works, which is great because we can't live without coffee. And let's see. I've put a pot in there. It's warmed up a little bit. And it works. That's fantastic. Uh, the next thing we'll do is we're going to try to see if it um, boils a kettle of water as well. And if it can do all that, well, it'll probably do everything else that you need, like a toaster, or a, maybe an air fryer, certainly for pumping up your air mattresses and everything. Anyway, cheers, everyone. Good job, MG4. This will probably draw a bit more current than the coffee machine. So let's see if it works. Bring the camera around. So yeah, simple matter of just plugging it straight in. All right, here we go. Wow. Now, let's have a look at the inside of the car, see if we've got any different messages happening. Oh, still discharging. That's interesting. The remaining discharge time, I guess if we're going to boil <laughs> a kettle of water for that long, is nine and a half hours, where the car is at 95%. So, I don't know if you factor that out. Uh, an hour per... 10% of battery capacity. Again, this is only with a very light draw. We're only boiling uh, one kettle of water with one appliance. So if you're going to plug a whole lot more things in, you can expect the remaining discharge time to be quite a lot less. It certainly seems to be working. Well, just out of interest, because we've got a Tesla Model 3 in the garage as well, I wonder if the V2L cable, which worked so well in the MG4, I wonder what happens when we plug it into a Tesla. Not supported officially. Okay, we've opened a charge port. Now, the connector, of course, will fit. Mm. A few interesting noises going on there. Now, you can't see this, but on my app it says charge cable not fully secured. So it thinks that the discharge cable is actually a charge cable. That's what those clicking noises were for. Uh, let's go inside, see if there's any change. And what does it say here? Charge port latch not engaged. Fully insert charge cable or check for obstruction. So unfortunately, no support for discharging here. So that's uh, one for MG. Unfortunately, zero for the Tesla. So I guess the benefit is that you can run appliances in an emergency. You might be able to run a fan, maybe a 
portable air conditioner. I'm not sure about the load it's going to draw. It could be quite a bit anyway. But let's say you've got uh, critical things that need to stay cold or medical devices that you need to run. There was a story about a lady doing the um, dialysis for her child, I think, during the Queensland blackout. This could be literally life-saving technology for some people. Uh, let's say you run a medical clinic and you've got a fridge full of vaccines that need to be kept under a certain temperature. That will help keep that under control as well too. And even simple things like uh, like the electric gates on your house, if you have them, if you've got no power, you can't even get out of your house. There was, again, another story about someone in Queensland who was helping to um, help his neighbours out with all the appliances during the blackouts too. So, you know, certainly quite useful. The other thing that would be really amazing to do is something called vehicle to home where not only do you just plug in your coffee machine off the car you actually plug your whole house into the car and use it to run pretty much everything provided that the current draw that the uh, car can uh, sufficiently provide it now you probably can't run your entire house with everything on at the same time but for a couple of days or a couple of hours well you know just turn on the things that you need so you plug your car into your switchboard or I don't know what device, but you can then use your car as if it was a, a home battery backup system. I think at the moment only the Nissan Leaf and the Mitsubishi PHEV, uh, whatever it's called, can do it. And at the moment, I don't believe the MG4 can, or really any other manufacturer or car, apart from the Leaf and the PHEV. The benefit of doing that is that this car, which is the MG4 Excite 51, has a 51 kilowatt hour battery in it. Um, and the whole car and the batteries and everything, around about 40 grand Australian dollar drive away or so. If you were to buy something like a Tesla Powerwall, you'll get about 13 uh, kilowatts of storage for about $10,000. So really, uh, this is like having four Tesla Powerwalls in a car flying in for free. It's great value. Uh, again, it doesn't have the vehicle to home capability built in or operational at the moment. I don't know if it can be enabled in the future, but beyond that, then we're talking about things like vehicle to grid, V2G, where the car not only feeds power back into your house, but into the power grid as a whole. Um, like, uh, like, again, solar panels feeding your home battery, which you then resell back into the grid. Whether that will ever happen, I don't know if I've got the infrastructure set up for it, and, uh, well, the Australian government and the electricity providers tend to be cutting back a lot on feedback tariffs anyway. So, may not be a useful thing. But uh, there you go. Vehicle to load. Really simple. Works really well. This cable here is an official MG Australia vehicle to load cable. Retails for, I think, $200, $250 or so. Sounds a little bit on the steep side, but it is an official MG product. It does work with the MG4, as we can see here. Uh, and anything electrical, you do want to be careful about cutting any corners. Make sure it's certified for your country of use. Certainly that would be. I do know you can get really, really cheap V2L adapters on eBay, Amazon, I don't know, 50 bucks, 60 bucks or so. But there have been a lot of people who said, doesn't work. You plug something in, just nothing at all. Uh, apparently they have uh, some resistor or capacitor which could be changed and modified, but again, Really, don't, don't fiddle around with too much with electrical stuff. You could, you know, at, at least damage your appliance, at worst, damage your car, and uh, even worse beyond that, I don't know. You don't want to talk about starting fires with EVs, but hey, who knows if you're chopping and changing some dodgy electrical work. Uh, anyway, this has been a very entertaining video to make. I'm standing here with a cup of coffee that my car provided me. And uh, yeah, please like some and comment on any more videos that you'd like to see or any content if I've got it totally wrong here. I'm just an amateur. I don't know what I'm doing, but I do enjoy making these videos for you guys and I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.